Hey, it's my here. So I'm back with another video. It's gonna be a little weird because I've got an idea from these sticks because I was in a coffee shop and these are coffee sticks, at least I think so. I had indeed paint on them, and also I've collected lots of them. Uh, I've collected ones from ice cream and ones from I don't know where. Some of these are even from my grandma because she likes collecting sticks. I know, we all have weird habits, it's okay, Grandma. <laughs> so, I've got a couple big, long, weird, shapey, shapey sticks. Uh, I think five, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five really long ones and a bunch of normal ones? Is that how it talk? I know. These are normal, but th there are like two different sizes. This big size and that a tiny bit small size I'm picking out, which ones are really small. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Here I am <laughs> telling you the obvious as always. Uh, so I'm just lining them up then but that was completely useless because of course i'm not going to paint them like that because that would be a whole big waste i need to you know make them flat like a little canvas because they can be ca canvases and you can paint them but it can be like a little puzzle for maybe like your friends or your younger sisters and brothers that like these things i don't know they're just like cute little present you know, for the holidays and nah, no, it's a puzzle. Okay, I didn't put much thought in it, or maybe I did. Well, I did really simple designs. Maybe you can, you know, do it yourself and do probably way more detailed ones and cool landscapes and blah blah styles. I'll be really jealous. <laughs> Yeah, I did pretty simple designs on here, so that means anyone can do it. Just, you know, then go print, boop, bop, bop, and it will be done. So here I'm doing, like, a whole lot of nothing. Just twisting and twirling them. Doing, basically, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> just a whole bunch of nothing. So let me just... Yeah, that's one's smaller as you can see and i'm putting them to the smaller pile and yeah it's small so let's just you know skip this part right now because it's going to be really long so wow magic transition look at it magic I have paint now here. Let's just get all these sticks out. And I'm probably wasting too much time, but let's see. Put all of them away. And you guys, and you guys, and let's start with the, the weirdest ones and the hardest ones. Yeah, maybe like another minute. I'm gonna be just moving them everywhere and trying to think of a way how to use them because they're such a weird shape but they can go together like that maybe you can do stairs or um stairs or somebody flying <laughs> i don't know <laughs> what i'm supposed to do with these shapes but uh, i decided to do a magic shape boom and i've decided to do a face because why not right why not? <laughs> uh, so I'm here painting a face on some sticks. <laughs> I have no idea, but I just painting and painting and painting and making the eyes really, um, what's the word? Creepy, scary, terrifying. Nightmarish just staring into your eyes just look at me closer look at me okay I'll stop I don't want to give you nightmares it's okay just make them a little bit cuter the little eyelashes is that better they still are staring at you but look you can move them I want to do like this little like 
flip book and just listen. Okay, so did you like my demonstrations? I made like by photos, I don't know why, I just kinda like it. Do you like it? Cause I just like those frame by frame. Yeah, maybe that was a little bit waste of time because I spent way too much time on that. Tell me if you like it. I kinda do. Or don't. Well, I don't know, okay? I don't know anything. It just looks cool and it looks whatever so i'm on to these really long sticks which i'm drawing a girl with the really flowy blue dress looks like the darkness of the ocean like like the the the, the, the waves and the ocean you can mix and match it and make it really big and cute and small and i'll put it there to dry and now let's go on to this stack of popsicle sticks I don't know what I'm supposed to call them I made a flower obviously I'm telling you the obvious so I am going here going for the shading and you can literally see like it's one block of one blob of red but here I am adding the highlights and I'm fixing it up I'm making a cute really flower if you want to have a tutorial how to make a beautiful rose flower from the top go over here in the corner i'll link the video which i showed you how to draw flowers i didn't do the the let's see i stopped making how to draw videos for like a while now well, maybe next week i can do it but here i'm just pushing them together slowly carefully got it <laughs> yay now let's just switch and Boom, and it is a new day new me new day so I'm here painting on these bigger sticks which I regretted that I painted them almost instantly so what the side paint is a butterfly which will be cool but that I could paint it like a landscape uh, the sky the the the, the a Rapunzel, a little Elsa, a Disney princess, but no, I painted this, this blobby, a blobby butterfly, and boom, here are all the other blobs, uh, yeah, so they all almost dried, like almost, barely, just tiny bit so you can see these three sticks for like a two-year-old he wants to play puzzles I don't know who else can you play this and it won't be obvious I don't know then we have this girl for a two and a half year old a two year old a three year old yeah and then we, and you can fine my camera's fine there's an earthquake going on hold on tight hold on tight don't fall off no careful I'm holding on to you it's good it's gonna be good hold my hand and it's okay was it dramatic nope oh I tried <laughs> yeah I'm not in a really talkative mood right now I'm kind of chill. Do you like me more when a, in a, ah, hoo, hee, ha, in a really do, 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 kind of mood, really excited mood, or do you like me more calm? Tell me. I, I don't know what to do, so that's why, that's why in the last couple of videos, I was asking for your support and tell me, am I not wasting my life away <laughs> by doing this? Yeah. And then we have the flower, which is a puzzle for an eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, because even they can mess up. This is like an adult puzzle, because it's really hard. All the lines are 
mixed and really close to each other and you can not do it properly and even grown-ups it takes a while as you can see the it, 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 it's hard yeah and let um, me just sticky everywhere let me just put it again sticky everywhere yes yeah, so that's the flower now we have the butterfly for like a five year old, year old I don't know who it's easy but it's a little tricky because you know the butterfly wings are really close to each other so does it go to the right or does this go to the left you know not that piece the center piece is obviously in the center but like uh this piece imagine like a five-year-old does it go on to the this side or to the, the other side or does it go to the left or does it go to the right you know see i'm kind of smart with the design kind of <laughs> yeah hopefully you can make way better designs than this stuff if you do, please share with me and thank us for watching and bye!